In the first months of this year, more than 30,000 migrants have arrived in Italy. It's about four times the number compared to the same period last year. In the central Mediterranean route as a whole, increase on arrivals of over 300%. Now, we as EPP have been warning for a long time that we are sleepwalking into a new migration crisis. And with these numbers, prove once again that our warnings were and are justified. The only difference is we're no longer sleepwalking into a crisis. We seem to arrive, have arrived in the middle of one, and it's time to wake up. Now, declaring a state of emergency, like in Italy, is not only to speed up procedures and to take the immense pressure off the system, it is also a cry for help, a, a call for solidarity, for European solidarity, for a European challenge, and not the empty promise of solidarity that we have seen from member states like France or Germany, but real tangible help. And in this context, I'm happy that in this House, under the leadership of our rapporteur, Thomas Tobé, we have agreed on a position on the new regulation that will ensure fair responsibility sharing. It is a crucial piece of the architecture under the new pact, and even though I'm happy that some negotiations have started, it is absolutely crucial that we start negotiations on this crucial piece as soon as possible as well. But we also have to be realistic in our expectations. If arrivals continue to increase at the current rate, Member States will never be able to cope regardless of European rules on solidarity and regardless of the successful adoption of the pact. If we want to be, able to be really able to manage migration, we will also need to bring the number of irregular arrivals down. And the external dimension of our migration policy is key in that regard. Cooperation with countries of origin and transit on border management, on returns and readmission, and on the fight against criminal smuggling gangs must be urgently and significantly intensified. And especially Tunisia, which the Commissioner already mentioned, which now has taken over from Libya as the most frequently used point of departure to the EU, must be our first and foremost priority. And it's good that this is on the radar of both the Council and the Commission, but I would really ask you to act on this and to act on this more strongly. Thank you.